The Lakers lose to the Clippers 115 to 119. LeBron James was back for the Lakers, which was great to see. LeBron tested positive, but then after um, returning multiple negative tests during the week, he was all good to play. Now, scores at halftime 50 to 53. The Lakers were down by those three points. Uh, let's get into the game. Paul George, eight rebounds, nine assists, 19 points. I was expecting uh, Paul George to have a better performance than that. He was 0 from 7 from downtown. Uh, not one of his best performances. Isaiah Hardenstein, no rebounds, but finished up with one assist and 11 points. He was causing a bit of trouble for the Lakers. Uh, Marcus Morris Sr., two rebounds, one assist, 21 points, six out of nine from downtown. I'll talk about one of these threes later. Luke Kennard, four rebounds and 19 points. Kennard only had two points in the first half, so a huge second half for him. And uh, Reggie Jackson had 16 points, I'm pretty sure. So the Clippers, a lot of players were chipping in on uh, the scoreboard. Now for the Lakers, Anthony Davis, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 27 points. He had 12 points in the first half. LeBron James, 11 rebounds, uh, 6 assists, and 23 points. Malik Monk off the bench. I thought he was brilliant. 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 20 points. He had no points in the first half, so a huge second half performance from him. Four out of eight from downtown. Russell Westbrook, he needed to be better. I was expecting him uh, to kind of, you know, be that X factor again and finish maybe with a triple-double. Two rebounds, nine assists, ten points. I wanted to see a lot more from Russ. Uh, one of his turnovers in the game was crucial. The Lakers had a chance to take the lead and uh, slip up from Russ. And um, Marcus Morris Sr., he banked home a three, and that was the dagger in the heart of the Lakers. That was a bit of a prayer chucked up in the air, and he, uh, you know, he made it somehow. Uh, a nice shot, a wicked shot, but a nice result in the end for the Clippers, I should say. At times, the Lakers in transition, uh, going up the stretch, it was a bit of poor basketball. They needed to be a bit more clean, uh, as I mentioned, Westbrook's turnover. We had the chance, and, and I thought we were going to win. I thought we were going to get over um, the line in that fourth quarter, but we fall short. Points in the paint, we went well, 54 to 36 points in the paint. Uh, the Lakers were dominant there. Free throws, that's what I look at in this game. 13 out of 21 for LA compared to the Clippers, 21 out of 24. We need to be a bit more consistent when it comes to free throws because, you know, that final margin, four points made... If you make four free, four more free throws, could have tied this game up. They are crucial. They've just got to um, be a bit more consistent and clean with the basketball, as I mentioned, in transition. But um, a, an okay fight by the Lakers, I would say. It's unfortunate that they fell short. Lakers' next game is up against the Boston Celtics at Staples Center on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Let's hope the Lakers can get back on the winner's list. Go Lakers. Right, guys, if you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.